Hello everyone. Today in this video, we shall learn how to deploy ASP.NET Core Web API on IIS. We shall learn it step by step, but first let's understand what IIS is. IIS stands for Internet Information Services. It's a web server developed by Microsoft, used to host and serve a website and web application. It supports technologies like ASP.NET, ASP.NET Core, PHP, and many more. It manages authentication, SSL, and application pool. I mean, it provides security features and gives us full control our hosting environment, right? It lets users access their web API via browser or client app. Because once API is hosted in this server, it can be accessed through a browser or by client application, right? In this video, we shall take the web API project we created in our previous video tutorial, like .NET 9 web API credit operations with entity framework core and walk through each step to deploy it in IIS and make sure everything works properly. So let's get started. Before we begin deployment, we shall make sure that IIS is installed and properly configured on our machine, right? So let's first verify if IIS is installed on our system. Press window R, type INET MGR, click on OK. If IIS opens like this, you are good to go. If not, you can follow these steps to enable it. Go to control panel, programs, turn windows feature on or off, click on it. Here you see the option internet information services. If it is not checked, then check it. Under World Wide Web Services, Application Development Features, let me maximize it. Now make sure .NET Extensibility, ASP.NET, IS API Extensions, and IS API Filters are checked. Right. Click on OK and let these components install. It may ask like you need to update your window for some components. So I update it. Okay, updates are applied. Now again press window R, INET MGR, and it will launch IS Manager. Okay, now let's publish our project. Okay, now let's publish this project for the deployment. First of all, I go here and select the release option. I right click on the project, select publish. Here it is asking where you want to publish your files. I want to publish in a folder. So select folder and click on next. So here I will select my desired path. I go to text desktop and on the desktop, I have published directory selected. Click on OK and click on finish and close it. OK, so it has created a profile for the deployment. OK, now I click on publish. It has started publishing our files in our desired published folder. Okay, so build is succeeded, publish one succeeded. Okay, let's go to the folder. And here we have all the published files, right? Let's copy all of the published files and go to IS directory. This is default IS directory. So I right click on and click on explore. Here you can create a folder with the app name. I name it like demo app and place all the published file inside these folders. Let's go back to IS Manager. I refresh it. This directory is available here, right? Right click on it. Click on Convert to Application. Here it is showing a dialog like Add Application. Here alias is Demo App. I mean the name of the application. And then we have Application Pool. Application pool is actually a container in IS that runs your web application separately from other applications. Right? Each pool runs under its own worker process. This provides a kind of isolation. If one application crashes, other remains unaffected. For now, we have kept our application under default application pool. You can create a separate application pool. For example, go to application pools and here you see all the application pools, default application pool. You can click on create add application pool and create a new one. But let's stick to default application pool for now. Okay, again, right click, convert to application. Here it is showing our physical path of our published files. Click on OK. Okay, so it has converted into this application. So let's browse it. I click on browse. Showing 500 internal server. Let me give proper path for this. Okay, we are getting HTTP error 500. Actually, whenever you publish an ASP.NET Core app, Visual Studio generates a web config file that requires the ASP.NET Core hosting bundle to work correctly in IIS. So we need to install ASP.NET Core hosting bundle. So 
go to google and search .NET 9 hosting bundle click on the first link and here asp.net code runtime you can see hosting bundle click on it i am doing by windows so it will start downloading it let's wait for download to complete here it is downloaded so click on it click install okay hosting bundle is installed click on close okay let's refresh the page and see if it resolves the errors but this time we are getting another error localhost is currently unable to handle the request so let's go to event viewer and see what exactly the error our application is throwing so i go to event viewer and when i go to windows log application i see this error right the first error .NET runtime. So it says login failed by user IIS app pool default app pool. It says our login is failing. Actually, our API is trying to connect SQL server, but it's using the IIS application pool identity. I mean IIS app pool default pool to connect. But that identity does not have access to our SQL server database, right? So what we can do, we can copy it. go to sql server management studio right click on login new login here i paste the user okay so for this identity no it will create is the app pool user okay i go to user mapping i provide access to my database i make db owner to it click on ok now let's go back to our browser and refresh if we are able to access and yes this time we are able to access our database now our API is completely deployed in IS and working successfully. Let's verify uh, create product scenario as well. So I copy this URL. I open Postman. I already have this API. So I paste my URL here. Right. I give name something like my course. And I keep it price like 800,000. So I click on send. So it has added new record of the product using our API deployed in IS. So let's verify from the browser as well. I refresh and this time we can view two records. And that's it for today. We have successfully deployed our FP.NET Core API on IS step by step. From checking IS installation, publishing our project from View Studio, setting up a site in IS and fixing common errors, and finally, getting our API up and running. We have covered how to handle typical issues like HTTP 500, config error, missing hosting bundle, SQL Server login issues. Now our API is live on our local IS and ready to be tested or accessed by client app. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel for more practical development videos. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.